Hello everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed my previous uh, video. As I said, it's uh, one of my passions. And um, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, a different quest that we are all engaged in. The one of finding a carbon foam. A good carbon foam with a high surface area that will allow us to build the better supercapacitors and uh, batteries. As you can see here in front of you, there are a few bits of different uh, foams felt. And uh, this one, I'm going to bring it closer. I don't know if you can see it very well, is the one from Robert Murray Smith, very, very good activated carbon felt. Exactly even better than he said. Enormous surface area, very flexible, quite, hmm, quite good strength. This one, um, graphitic plate. solid, very good conductivity. Again, a carbon felt from Robert Murray Smith. And if you will give me one moment, I can show you another carbon felt or not. Uh, I'm trying to see where I put it at. I don't think I can show it to you in this moment uh, actually i can yeah this a very good carbon felt for for a current collector i wouldn't use it as a let's say active material i've tested it a few times the results are just a waste of time. Also, in this area, you will see a few. This bit, if I can grab it, this bit is the normal um, carbon graphite in um, carboxy. Uh, methylcellulose, the normal cigarette filters in acetone. Interesting, interesting. I don't know if you can see. I can't focus there. It has quite microporous surface on one side. This one is so brittle, so brittle. This one is a very, very interesting material, has a good conductivity and an enormous surface area of microporosity that it is really nano, at nano level. How I prepare this one? ta -da! Do you recognize this one? This is a polyuretanic foam. It's the flexible version, not the, uh, let's say, solid one. Can be bent. Will retain the shape. Um, I did play it a little bit. If you mix each ingredient with Let's say your carbon, graphite, graphene, activated carbon, whatever. And then mix them together. In the end, you will have an excellent, with let's say mechanical properties, an excellent material with very good mechanical properties, but a zero conductivity. 
because the polyurethanic polyurethane resin it will cover all the graphite uh, particles and polyurethane is an insulator material nothing nothing will conduct through that material but if you place it in an oven at around 300 degrees for two hours and a half ideally maybe you can i'm pretty sure two hours three hours will work well this is what you will have in the end and soon i will show you the microporous surface i'd use it i'm not impressed with the results but for my let's say third attempt of uh, making this uh, foam i think it's pretty good unfortunately at this moment i still have to work a little bit on this uh, foam it's very brittle barely barely can do anything with this uh, with this uh, foam i have other bits laying around here but i can't even pick them properly This is another one. Ignore the the granule of uh, activated carbon on top. Yeah. The most interesting one. I was reading a paper recently, and uh, some scientists claimed that they built a foam, a very light, very flexible very conductive foam from can you guess from melamine uh -huh. just recover another bit from melamine if you don't know i will show you this is a piece of melamine foam is a very good sound insulating material it is used in uh, in the industry as a sound insulating material, but also you can easily find it on the market as Mr. Magic Eraser or Flash Magic Eraser. I bought this one from uh, a local shop. It costed me like three pounds or something, and it has two pieces inside. On the eBay or internet, you can find it much, much cheaper, like 10 pieces with two pounds or something like this. A very good melamine foam. It is flexible. It is like a, a, a sponge. And it cleans very well. It does exactly what it says on the, uh, on the package. So they said that they burned this one in an oven at a thousand degrees and they were able to obtain a very flexible light very conductive carbon foam and these are pieces of that carbon foam i'm still trying to figure it out the best way i don't know exactly how to set the um, centigrade per minute on my um, on my PID controller I have I really didn't have time to to study that um, yet the increase in temperature should be around five degrees per minute not faster than that because if you get it faster than that this is all you will get from a a piece of this size I will keep on trying and uh, I will find out exactly that very interesting foams with very good qualities and because I'm not uh, I can't say about me that I have a very very good size I don't use uh, goggles but I can't see very well the porosity on uh, those. 
so I tried with all bits of let's say lenses on my phone magnifying with my phone with a magnifier nothing and I I've seen recently on uh, YouTube how to make your own microscope and I'm going to show you that and I'm going to show you how to do a, a good microscope that you can see literally the tiny 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 micro pores oh, pores I I don't know exactly but I think you can see almost to the level of nano that will be in my next video as I was saying for the moment these are the the foams that uh, I obtain I will place my money more on this foam obtained from uh, melamine uh, resin and I will try to dope it with other materials in another video after I figured out how to adjust the temperature on my um, the temperature rate on my uh, PID controller I will uh, come back with a better foam it's so light. Let's see. Can you see that? Yeah. So initially this piece 0 0.3 of a gram and the result 0. Point, so almost 10 times less. And, and quite quite big for the weight it, it, quite a large area this one is probably even less no oh, heavier bear in mind that I still have a few bits of um, no if you can a few bits of uh, sacrificial uh, activated carbon from the pot Good materials can be easily achieved with um, products that you can buy off the shelf. If you try to buy this melamine from, uh, let's say, a sound uh, uh, from a company as a sound insulating uh, foam, will cost you a lot. So one sheet, 30 by 30 centimeters, is probably in the range of 20 pounds. These ones at this thickness and they are easily to be found and on eBay the price is 10 pieces, 2 pounds. Good price. Alright, enough about this foam. I will keep you updated with my work uh, on these ones and the next video will be about how I built my microscope. Stay tuned.